At the mention of scholarships, everybody gets excited, as in which people start applications for, for which they end up getting stuck at some point or they are unable to complete the application. A prominent reason why that happens is because people fail to take time to assess the eligibility criteria before commencing the applications. avec Deeply Merited Scholars. Dans cet épisode, on va partager deux opportunités avec vous. Stay tuned. At number one, we have the Commonwealth Split Site PhD Scholarships. This scholarship is funded by the UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. Commonwealth Split Site Scholarships enable talented and motivated individuals to gain the knowledge and skills required for sustainable development and are aimed at those who could not otherwise afford to study in the UK. They offer PhD scholars studying at eligibility universities across the Commonwealth the opportunity to conduct research at an institute in the UK for 12 months. The intended beneficiaries are high quality graduates whose proposed research has a developmental focus and who have the potential to become influential teachers or researchers in their home countries. The Commonwealth Split Site PhD Scholarship is an exchange program for enrolled PhD students at their home country or eligible Commonwealth countries who are currently studying and can come to the UK for a 12-month study program. Eligibility criteria. At number one, you should be a citizen or have been granted refugee status by an eligible Commonwealth country or you should be a British protected person. On the website, there is a list of eligible Commonwealth countries. Cameroon is among. At number two, you should be permanently residing in an eligible Commonwealth country. They didn't say you must be in your home country. You should be residing in an eligible Commonwealth country. Take note. Next up, which is the most important and the primary requirement, you should be registered for a PhD at a university in an eligible Commonwealth country by the time the scholarship starts, which is going to be September 2023 of this year. The next requirement is very vital to your eligibility assessment. Ensure that an institutional or departmental link exists between your home country and your proposed UK university. This link must be greater than simply a collaboration between individuals. And on the website, it states that see section on tenure and placement for further details. Both supervisors must provide a supporting statement which provides further details of the link to ensure your application is eligible. To explain this particular eligibility requirement, it doesn't suffice for you to just be a PhD student in an eligible country. As earlier mentioned, this is more of an exchange study within the course of your PhD. So there must be a correlation between the department of your home university and the host university in the UK. You have to make sure that whatever university you're going to be applying to for this scholarship, there must be a link in the impact of your research to your home country and to the UK university you are applying to. Please take note of this particular requirement. And as mentioned on the website, you're going to need two supporting statements to this effect. One from a professor in your home country or the university for which you are currently studying and a supporting statement from a professor at a UK university which is going to be the host university for your program. Please take note of this particular eligibility requirement as it is key to your application. The remainder of eligibility requirements as stated here are pretty easy and I'll just go forward to read them. Be available to start your academic studies in the UK in September 2023. Next, uh, by September 2023, hold the first degree of at least upper second class, that's two, two is to one, honor standard, or a lower second class degree at a relevant postgraduate qualification, usually a master's degree. Lastly, you should be unable to afford to study in the UK without this scholarship. So, so when we assess everything that is being asked here, the two major things are one, you should be currently enrolled in a PhD program. And two, there must be a correlation in the research between your home country and the host UK university. These are the two toughest aspects of the eligibility requirement for this program. How are you supposed to apply for this program? Applications for Commonwealth Speed Site Scholarship for the 2023-2024 academic year are open and will close on the 2nd of March, 2023 at 4 p.m. GMT. Applications must be made using the CSE's online application system. Candidates must apply to study at the UK University, which has a part funding agreement with the CSE. Part funding agreements are at the discretion of individual universities. A list of universities that have agreed to part fund Commonwealth scholarships, visit the UK universities with part funding agreements page on the CSE website. 
Candidates are advised to complete and submit applications as early as possible, as the online application system will be very busy in the days leading up to the application deadline. After analyzing the eligibility criteria and taking note of how we should apply for the scholarship, let's get the following supporting documents ready for this application. Candidates must upload the following document with their application. At number one, prove that the applicant is a citizen or has refugee status in an eligible Commonwealth country. You have to show a copy of a valid passport or national ID card showing a photograph, date of birth, and country of citizenship. Number two, you need to open full transcripts detailing all higher education qualifications, including to date transcripts of any courses currently being studied with certified translations, if not in English. Number three, we need references from at least two individuals on institutional letterhead. Number four, we need a supporting statement on institutional letterhead from the proposed supervisor in the UK for at least one of the institutions named on the application form. Number five, you need a supporting statement on an institutional letterhead from the current supervisor at the home university. If any of the required documentation is not provided by the closing date, the application will be considered ineligible. Candidates can also upload any university admissions letter held for their chosen course. The CSE will not accept supporting documentation submitted by nominating agencies or outside the online application system. Please note that the CSE does not charge candidates to apply for any of the scholarships or fellowships through its online application system, and it does not charge organizations to nominate candidates. So for this scholarship program, you're going to need a total of four recommendation letters, two from individuals or institutional letterheads, which means it could be anybody who can recommend you for this program. They didn't emphasize on it being a professor, they just said they want two individuals on institutional letterheads. That means they should use the official letterhead of their organization, business, or schools if they're teachers. But next, you need a supporting statement from your proposed UK supervisor. And the last recommendation letter is a supporting statement from your home-based supervisor. So in total, you need four recommendation letters. Make sure to remind all your supervisors that they need to send these recommendation letters directly to the online application system. If this is any consolation, I can tell you from experience that UK professors are actually very nice and easy. Once your research is aligned with theirs, they are going to respond to your email and provide you with all the necessary feedback you need. Just make sure that you know what you're researching about, you know what you wish to achieve via your research. And trust me, getting a UK supervisor is going to be easy. Make sure that when you're applying to universities, you select the universities that have a funding agreement with the CFC. That way you know that you're respecting the rules of the application. There are several other things to consider and we would recommend, as always, for you to go to the CFC website and read detailed information about the scholarship. It runs on an annual basis, so if you are not eligible to apply this year, there is always next year for you to prepare ahead of time. On to the second application, I'm going to show you the communicate and how you can use your phone to get more information about this program. Stay tuned. The second opportunity is the launching of the Turkish Government Scholarships for the 2023-2024 academic year. The Embassy of the Republic of Cameroon in Turkey informs the members of the Cameroonian community of Turkey that the Presidency for Turks Abroad and Related Communities, YTB, has just launched the 2023 Turkish Scholarships Program. These scholarships are awarded to outstanding foreign students and researchers who desire to pursue their studies at the bachelor's, master's, and PhD levels in Turkey. The submission of applications is only done online from the 10th of January to the 20th of February 2023 via the website. Any other information related to the said scholarship program can be gotten from the following website. The Embassy counts on all associative structures to ensure a broad dissemination of this announcement to the members of the Cameroonian community of Turkey. Once you input the first link, it's going to give you these options. So I am navigating this page and the first thing I press is to register and it takes me to this um, pop-up box where I can input my information. Same thing with the second option I've taken. Now the third option refers to the second link on the communicate and this is literally the page that gives you all the details about the Turkish scholarship. So we're scrolling. Go to the top left corner and um, go to the options. Here you have criteria and scholarship programs. So here you can commence reading about the application criteria, um, what they expect in terms of the age and the minimum academic achievement you should have prior to applying for any of the levels. Also, there's information about eligibility groups and ineligible groups. For instance, under the ineligible groups, Turkish citizens and individuals who have lost Turkish citizenship are not eligible to apply. 
It states that individuals who are currently enrolled in programs in Turkish universities are not eligible to apply. Once you scroll down, you're going to see different scholarships, full-time, short-time scholarships. So for the full-time scholarships, you go, you're going to read the full package for it, such as the scope of the scholarship, um, how much you'll be given, undergraduate programs, graduate scholarship programs, art scholarship programs, merit scholarship program, and a whole lot of important and vital information. A kind reminder that we are using our phone to do this, so you can use your phone to get this information as well using your search browser it could be Firefox um, we are using Google um, so make use of your cell phone twice um, the application calendar and um, the application period is January 10th to February 20th so from the moment you see this video and um, you have interest it's very important that you get on with this application as soon as you can or better still you can prepare ahead for the next application season Here, there's information of, on the five steps to applying, which is quite easy. Um, all of this is on the website. We are doing this demonstration so that you know how you should navigate the website to get the information you need. Remember to read all the important details because all of this information will help to guide you on how you should prepare your application while you are submitting it. We've come to the end of today's episode. Kindly show us love by liking our video, subscribing to our channel, turning on your notification bell so that you will be the first to know anytime we upload a new video. Also, we plead with you to spread word about deeply merited scholars. You may not be eligible for some of the opportunities we share, but that doesn't stop you from sharing this video and our guides on our different social media pages to your friends and your community so that they can get to seize such opportunities. Remember that with deeply merited scholars, you, I mean you, will soar on eagle's wings. Bye.